Alright, so this is the first part of the program we have in this semester, and we are supposed to load an object writing some code. And as you can see here, this is our object, and we have the directional light pointing right at it. And we can change the position just to look how it looks. Alright, the code for this. First of all, we're including some, some files, of course, this is not I needed to go much deeper into. Uh, the first thing we do in the code is create an object pointer called my object which points to the object, um, which is this thing, the thing dot object, um, in our header file. We have some flops and use, which I'll come back into a little bit later. So, our main program, as you can see here, the first thing is that is called the init view. And the init view is basically just an initial view that you, you set. Um, you, you, set uh, you set the window to how big you want it, where you want it, what it's called, and what color you actually need for this, uh, which is done by, by these lines here. Um, we also enable uh, some depth, some lighting, uh, shaders, um, and we define what light we, we actually want, where we want it positioned, and in what direction, as you can see here. And this, this direction is, as you can see, it's a float, it's an array of, of numbers, and we want it to point at 0, 0, 0, minus 1. Um, yes. So the next part is our display function, uh, which uses draw function. So what will we actually show in this, um, in this window? First of all, we just clean the color, clean the buffers, it's just a uh, safe methods, method to do. Um, what we also have here is we have a push and pop matrix, but this is not really needed for this part because we only have one object to to manipulate. Uh, but if you had other objects that you would want, you have to use this pop and, uh, and push matrix uh, to to tell the program that we're only manipulating this object. Uh, but it's just nice to to have. So we translate the object because when we load the, the object into the screen, it's right there, so you can really see everything. So I'm just uh, making it uh, go deeper into the, the window. Uh, you can also rotate the, the, the object, but uh, I'm going to come back to that a bit later. So what you do here is you're enabling the client state where you're using the vertex array and the normal array. And for this, you have both a normal and vertex pointer, uh, which will take in some, some number, and it will take all the normals that we have found in the header file, uh, and it also take the vertices and the and also the indexes. So we are actually pointing to the number of normals that we have here, so so we can we can use this uh, to draw the the object. When we have these normal and vertex points, we can actually draw our object. We're telling it to draw uh, some triangles, and we are pointing to the amount of elements that we need to, to draw. Uh, and this is done by pointing to the indices. And this is numbers. Uh, we are using the data type unsigned short, and we're doing this because this is for, for this part. It's, it's the right thing if you use. The unsigned byte, you will not store enough information to draw the, the entire object. And if you use it here, you'll have way, way, way too much um, information you can use, and this will actually cause a runtime error, at least from my machine here. Um, and you will, you will uh, point to, to where these uh, indices are, are stored. And when you've done this, you will actually draw the entire, the entire object. This is done to be safe. You are disabling these vertex and normal arrays, and you're plotting the matrix as explained before. And using some some safe functions, uh, geoflash and swap buffers. Next thing we do here is we are reshaping. We are telling the program where to where to look at, um, and then what perspective we we actually need. And this is done by these lines. Um, we also have the, the glove motion function, which is based on the mouse function. But, but this is this is not a big code, this is just changing how you want to, to look at the object, or just rotating the object actually, as I, as I did in uh, the draw function. 